In this video, we will discuss importing points. Symbol3D enables you to import many types of files based on various point file formats. As we discussed earlier, you can create point file formats to accommodate necessary formats that you may have. Let's also remember that in the settings tab, we have the description key that will be used to import the points correctly and map them to the correct uh, point styles. We also have the point styles that define what they should be set to, the label styles for any labeling, and don't forget about the default command settings defined here as well. To import points, navigate to the Insert tab, Points from File command on the Import panel. First, let's go ahead and select the file, and we'll select the points-eg.csv file and click Open. One thing to mention is you can select multiple files in there if you want to. By selecting the correct point file format, Civil 3D will put this check mark here telling you that it's matching the selected point file format. Note that you can add them to a point group, which is really nice if you want to actually be able to segregate them in some sort of way. And you can even do elevation adjustments if possible, as well as coordinate transformation. Let's go ahead and click OK here. We'll do a zoom extents. And there are our points. Notice how some of them already got mapped properly, and they're even using the different layers. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit, and let's zoom into our combination poles here. So we've got the combination poles. However, the problem is our label styles are not appearing. So what's going on? Remember, in the panorama window, I have the description keys already defined. Again, go to the settings tab, description key set, right click and choose edit to get there. But if we look at the point label style, it's using the default label style for the majority of the points based upon their raw code. Again, this is telling Civil 3D, use the point group label style that has the priority at the top of the list. We'll go over point groups later on, but for now, let's just navigate to the Prospector tab, expand point groups, and just right click on here and click Update. Notice how now it updates that to use this point group, which is in the top of the list. If we right click on here and choose Properties, you'll notice how this is the label style being used. If we change this to Description Only, that will update all the points to use just that description. Pretty cool and a very nice way to control all of the points in your drawing.